Good evening, Primary 4. Don't worry about exam. It will be very easy for all of you. You are smart, you are clever, you are studying hard. Today, we are solving models. Inside these models, I repeat and revise everything with you. Don't worry. Let's begin. Revision. Here, choose the correct answer. What does he need from this question? Three and two fifths. Three and two fifths. Equal what? The answer is 17 fifth. How can I get this answer? Let's remember together. Three and two fifths, it's what? Mixed number. Then, look at your chosen. Which one of these equal this mixed fraction? Yeah. According this chosen, you should convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction because I have here the same denominator. Okay? So, 3 by 5 equal 15. 15 plus 2 equal 17. And the same denominator, 5. Okay, guys? Quotient by D plus N over D. 3 by 5 between brackets plus N. N equal to over the same denominator. 3 by 5, 15. 15 plus 2, 17 over 5. I hope you remember with me. Second one. And I need from all of you to answer in detail in your exam. Number two. Which of the following numbers lies between 3 tenths and 4 tenths? Yeah. Let's remember together. Four decimal number. This is decimal point. Decimal point is joined between what and what? Between whole number and decimal. What about the place value of decimal? And what about the place value of whole unit? 10, 100, as we learned in first term, and another place. Okay? Then, what about decimal? The beginning of the place value of decimal, it's begin with what? Tenth. At the end of any decimal, you should put TH. Tenth, then hundred. The second place value of decimal is hundred. The third is thousand. Is what? Thousand. Then, here, 0 0.3 or 3 tenths. This mean what? Yeah. 3 over 10. And another one, 4 over 10. How can I find the number or the decimal number between 3 tenths and 4 tenths? Let's remember together. 3 out of 10 equal 0.3 and put 0. Why? Because 3 out of 10 equal 30 over 100. As we learned in comparing between decimal. So, if you cancel 0, in front of zero, you get three out of ten as this fraction. So, 
we can write 0.3 as 0.30 and 0.4 as 0.40 because 0 at the right of any decimal number doesn't make any change for the number doesn't make any change for the value of number then between 30 hundreds and 40 hundreds what is the number between both of them you can write 0.31 and 0.32 and 0.33 and, and and so on after you reach to what? O point thirty nine, and we don't take thirty hundreds, and we don't take forty hundreds, because he asked about which of the following numbers lies between three tenths and four tenths. So we don't take, okay. 0.3 or 0.4. Let's focus here. 1300 between 1300 and 1400? No. 4300 between 1300 and 1400? No. Because 4300 greater than 1400. Then 0.2 means 0.20 or 20 hundreds. 20 hundreds less than 1300 so this is chosen not correct the last one is correct as we observe here 3900 then number three ask about equivalent fraction as we learned in primary four seven equal what over 21 7 is smaller than 21. 7 will be 21. How can I get 21 from 7? By multiply 3. If I make multiply 3 down, I should make multiply 3 up. So, 4 by 3 equal 12 over 21. I hope you remember with me. Second one. Number four, 60 and 6 tenths. How can I solve this example? Never mind. Put a decimal point. Then, this is unit. This is 10. This is 100. This about what? Yeah, and this 1000. After three digit number, put comma as we learned in first term. Then, TTH 10,000. Let's remember together. Okay. This about whole number. W H whole number. And tenth is the first place value of decimal. Then hundredth. Then thousandth. Excellent. Then thousand. Okay. So sixty means this is a whole number. So I write sixty here, where a tens and the unit. This is whole number. What about six tenth? The place value is what is tenth. So at tens place value, I write number six. So the correct chosen from these chosen will be number C. Sixty and six tenths. Number five. Four tenths plus what equal one? Four tenths means four over ten. And here. I don't know. Equal one. I convert one 
two numerator and denominator. What is the denominator here? Denominator is 10, so I should put here 10. 1 means what? Nemo equal demo. The quotient will be 1. So, 10 over 10 equal 1. Then, what about this denominator? 10. Ask yourself. Any plus with missing number change to minus. What minus what? Result minus one of the other terms in left hand side. Or what is the number added to 4 to get 10? It will be excellent 6. It will be 6. So I write here 6. 6 over 10 means 0.6. Then, number 6, the value of 7. Value means you should write number. Value means you should write number, not word. So, the value of 7 in the number 35 and 474 what? Thousands. Excellent, because this is 10th. And the other one, 100th. And the third one, 1000s. I'm so sorry about that. 1000s. 1000s. Yeah, I need to write the value of 7. Look at its place value. What is the place value of 7? It's 100th. So, I write 7 as the same. Then, any number at right of this number and any digit at the, right, at the left of this uh, digit will be 0. I put here 0. Then put it decimal point. Another number will be 0. Another digit will be 0. So, you cancel this and cancel this and put instead of it zero and this will be also zero because he needs the value according its place value. So the correct chosen is what here, yeah, seven over hundred because seven hundreds means seven over hundred. Number seven, seven eighths minus three fifths. You have two methods for solving this. The easiest one, what? Look at denominator here and denominator here. The biggest one can divide it by the other without the remainder? No. So make multiply between the two denominator. So it will be 40. 8 by 5 equal 40. You can get the numerator, by the way, by using two methods. You can solve by any method that will be easiest for you. First method, make cross multiplication. 8 by 3 equal 24. I write 24 here above the second fraction because I began from the first denominator. Cross to what and multiply to what? The second denominator. Then 5 by 7, 35. I write 35 above first fraction. Okay? Then what I'm doing? What is the symbol here? What is the mathematic operation here? It's minus. It's difference. So, I write 35 minus 24. Okay, this is one of the two methods. Then make unit minus unit or ones minus ones. Yeah, the result at one. 10 minus 10 in horizontal way. The result at 10. 11 over 40. Another way. You can make what here? I let what? 8 by 4, 8 by 5, I'm so sorry, equal 40. 
then seven by five minus here forty because forty is here five uh, by eight and here eight by five then above three minus eight this is the second method and you get the same number 35 over 40 minus 24 over 40 then the result after subtraction will be 11 over 40 which one number b this is model one model two should the correct answer from a b c and d the total mark will be 80 so two of these exercise will be 15 okay and the other will be 10 or according to the um, correction about your school then six over five first remember together this is what proper or improper or mixed yeah what's our condition here nemo greater than demo Nemo greater than Nemo. It will be improper fraction. Then, I can convert this fraction into decimal or into improper. Both of them. If I need to convert 6 over 5 into improper, how can I get it? I'm so sorry, into mix it, not improper. It's improper. I need to convert it into mix it. What I'm doing here, yeah. You can make by division 6 over 5. This is first way. 6 divided 5 equal what? Equal 1. The division, mom multiply 1 by 5 equal 5. Sister subtraction. 6 minus 5 equal 1. Bring down, down. Is there any extra number we bring down, down? No. So, what is the result here? I write the same denominator. Then, caution or the result of division will be next to the fraction. Okay? And denominator down. And 1 next. Denominator down, quotient next, then remainder will be written up. This is first way. Or, ask yourself, yes yeah, 6, yes yeah, 6, you are in table 5? Oh no, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm not in table 5. So, check the number less than 6. Yeah, 5 in table 5, yes. Ask yourself, 5 by what equal 5? 5 by 1. What is the denominator here? 5. So, this will be written down a denominator. And 1 will be written at remainder. Okay? And the quotient will be what? I'm so sorry. The quotient will be what? 1. So, the quotient will be 1. This is caution, not remainder. I'm so sorry about that. Really, I'm so sorry. This is caution. But after we write caution up and denominator down, make 6 minus 5. Or here, put rectangle. Then what is the remainder up? It will be 1. This is remainder. Okay, then 6 over 5 as a mixed fraction will be 1 and 1 over 5. But to convert this into decimal, how can I get it? 1 and 1 over 5 or 1 and fifth. To convert it into decimal, I have 
the same whole number. But what I'm doing? Yeah. Excellent. Multiply to. Why I'm making multiply to? Because for decimal number, you should let denominator 10 or 100 or 1000. All of them, right. You choose the nearest one. Five, yeah. You can make five multiply two to get ten. Or five multiply twenty to get hundred. Or five multiply um, uh, two hundred to get thousand. But the nearest one, it's what? Five by two to get ten. And if I make multiply by two down, I make it up. One by two equal to two tenths means one and two tenths. One point two. One point two. So the correct is chosen one point two. Number two, three tenths and four seven. How can I make comparing? Look at numerator. Numerator is different. Look at denominators. Denominators are different. The most and the easiest method here, cross multiplication. 10 by 4 equal 40. And 7 by 3 equal 21. So which one is greater? 40. So, number C is the correct choice. Here, 2 sevenths plus 3 th sevenths plus 4 sevenths. Yeah, to make adding for fraction. First, look at denominator. Yeah, they are the same. So, write one as a common denominator. Then, what are we doing? Make plus. Between the all numerator, 2 plus 3 equal 5. Then 5 plus 4 equal 9. It will be 9 over 7. If I find here 9 over 7, okay, never mind. But I don't have here 9 over 7. So what I'm doing now? Convert this improper to mix it. 9 over 7. How many 7? In 9, 1. Then write the same denominator. 1 by 7 equals 7. So make 7 subtracted from 9 or count after 7. To get 9. Count after 7 to get 9. After 7, 8, 9. How many remainder here? 2. So, the correct one is number D. Okay, guys. Maybe you have more converting in exam. Don't worry. First, solve the exercise. Then, Look at your chosen. If you don't find one of these chosen, ask yourself, can I convert any fraction into another form? Or can I write fraction in decimal or in mix it to find the correct answer between these chosen in the exam? Then, Number four, the fraction that represents the colored. Yeah, count all square. Okay, after you count all square, you write the total at denominator. Or count the shaded first. One, two, three, four, five. How many shaded part? Five. Then make temple fraction. After you count the shaded part, one, two, three, four, five, I write the number of shaded parts up. 
Then after five, six. The total number is six. I write the total number down. So this is colored. Okay. And this is what? Total. To get fraction. So the suitable one is number B. 4,800 for a tenth. Before I'm reading the question, I ask the basic about mathematics that I learned with our teacher. Okay, then what about it? It's a place value hundredth. This is the first given. Then the value of 4, 0 0.4. The value of 8, 0 0.08. Okay, then the place value of 4, tenth. The place value of 8, hundredth. Okay, then he asked me. 4,800 is less than what? Look at the chosen 0.4. Look at here. This is two decimal place value. So I let all chosen two decimal place value. This is first step. This is one. I put zero at the right of one decimal to let it two decimal place value. This is two. Okay. This is one, I put one zero at the right of uh, this uh, decimal to let it has two decimal place by. This has two decimal place by. Then all of them this moment has two decimal place by. After that, I check 4800 less than 40, no. Less than 3900, no. Less than 50, yes. Less than means simple this. So hungry fish will eat the greatest one. And we know before that 50 hundreds equal 5 tens. Why 5 over 10 and 50 over Hundred. No, say, don't say 50 over 100 is greater. Why? Because you can make simplest form for this fraction. Zero will be cancelled with the first zero. So I get the same fraction, 5 tenths and 5 tenths. Both of them is equal. So 50 hundreds equal 5 tenths. Number six, 80. Is the whole WH whole? Seven is the whole. O point four or four tenths is decimal. A tenths place value. Two hundreds? No. Two thousands. Why I say two thousand? Because the first digit, its place value is tenth. And the second digit, its place value is hundredth. The third digit, yeah, its place value is thousands. So, according the place value of each digit, I write my number. So, 80 plus 7 means 87. So I write 87 at whole number. Then 4 tenths mean I write 4 at tenths. 2,000, I write 2 at thousands. Oh no, I don't have 100. Doesn't matter, never mind. By the way, you put 0 at excellent. Hundreds. So the correct chosen will be 87 and 402 thousands. So every time try to read 
the decimal number as I read it for all of you. 87 and 400. I, I read it as a whole. Then say the place value. 402,000. At the end of decimal, put TH. At the end of decimal, put TH. Number 7. 6 plus 5. 12 is the equal what? Yeah. Look first. This is 12. And this is 6. First, I ask myself. Yeah, 12, yeah, 12. You are multiple of 6. Yes. You are in table 6. Yes. So, why I make 6 by 12? Because I have here 12 and 12 can divide it by 6 without remainder. So... Doesn't matter to make 6 by 12. Every time you check the greatest denominator, if the greatest denominator can divide it by the other denominator without remainder, so let the greatest denominator as a common between the two fractions. So I let 12 for the first fraction plus 12 for the second fraction as a common denominator. Okay, guys. Then, what else? Yeah. Here, 6 by what equal 12? 6 by 2. I change color. 6 by 2 equal 12. If I make multiply by 2 down, I make multiply by 2 up. Then, 1 by 2 equal 2. 12 we divided 12. 12 as the same 12. So, denominator as the same denominator. So, numerator doesn't change. I have here the common denominator. Yes. I have the same denominator, yes. So, write one as a common. Write one of these denominator as a common. Then, make plus between the two numerator. 2 plus 5 equals 7. So, the correct chosen will be 7. The correct chosen will be 7. Okay, guys. I hope all of you understand. To choose the correct answer also. 96 tenths. This means what? 96 over 10 as a fraction. So, how can I convert it into decimal? Yeah, I write numerator at the same. 96. What else? Go from right to left. Then, how many zero here? What is the place value? Tenth. So, how many zero? One. So, this is first place value and this is second digit. First digit and second digit. So, decimal point will be written after first digit. Decimal point will be written after first digit. Okay? Again, 96 over 10. How can I rewrite it into decimal? Never mind. 96 tenth means 96 over 10. This means denominator equal 10. And as a fraction, it will be 1 over 10. But here I have 96 10. So it will be 96 over 10. Then what I'm doing, I rewrite the same number out. Go out numerator. After that, from right to left. Count one, two, 
And how many zero a denominator one? So decimal point will be written after one, after the first digit, after one digit. From right to left, count. This is number one. After the first digit, I put decimal point. If I rewrite it to understand more and more, 96 hundredths. It means 96 over 100. How can I write it? Yeah, 96. Go, go, go. It will be 96. Then from right to left. How many zero down? Two zero. So I put decimal point after two digits. This is first digit. And this is second digit. So, decimal point will be written after 9 here. This moment, yeah, all of you understand well. I, I know that. Number 2. 12 over 32. Look at the chosen here. It's the simplest form. So, try to find 12 over 32 in simplest form. 12 over 32. 32, remember together, 12 equal what? 2 by 6. 1 by 12, I don't take 1 because 1 is a common multiple of all numbers, okay? I begin with 2, 2 by 6, then 3 by 4. Is there any number else? No, this is number 12. Number 32 equal 2 by 16. And how can I get 16? 3 divided 2 equal 1. 1 by 2 equal 2. From 3, remainder will be 1. I put remainder beside 12. This is as far as the term. 12 divided 2 equal 6. So, 32 divided 2 equal 16. 32 equal. In table 3, no, because 3 plus 2 don't, doesn't equal what number can divisible by 6. 3 plus 2 equal 5. 5 in table 3, no. So 32 can not divisible by 3. 32 doesn't in table 3. 32 doesn't multiple of 3. Then 4. 32 in table 4, yes. 4 by what? 4 by 8. Is there any number else? No. So, try to take the least common multiple or the greatest common that can divide it by 12 and 32. Okay? Here, 2 and 3 and 4 and 6. Here, 2 and 4 and 8 and 6. Which one of this number common between 12 and 32? And it's the greatest here. 4 and 4. Someone say I make divided by 2 because 2 is a common for 12 and 2 is a common for 32. But after you make divided by 2, you make another divided by 2. And we check this together. Here. I take the least common multiple to get to get the simplest form from the beginning. Okay, so 12 divided 4 and 32 divided 4. I take the least common multiple. 12 divided 4, 3. 32 divided 4, 8. If I make 12 divided 2, if you need to make this, never mind. But you should make simplest form again. 12 divided 2. Then make also 32 divided 2. If we make any mathematic operation for multiply or divide it up, you should make this mathematic operation down by using the same number, okay? 
it will be what? 6 over 16. Then, 6 and 16 is simplest for? No, because 6 can divide it by 2 also. And 16 can divide it by 2 also. If I make division again, so I get the simplest form. Simplest form means make division. Up till you can't make division again. 6 divided 2, 3. 16 divided 2, 8. Look at numerator and denominator. You can make division again by using the same number up and down? No. So, 3 out of 8 is the simplest form. And the check here. First one, I make divided 2. And second one, I make divided 2. So, you can make divided 2 and divided 2. It will be divided 4 because 2 by 2 equals 4. So, at the beginning, I make factors. I get factors of 12 and 32. As we learn it first term, then take the least common multiple. That is a common between the first one and the second one to make division by it to get the simplest form. Number three, best in both a bin for four and a half Egyptian pound and a ruler for three and a quarter pounds. Look at this figure. I draw it for all of you to understand well with me. We well, uh, uh, solve this mental. First, he say what? Four and a half. Second, three and a quarter. Okay. This is what? Half. This is half. And this is half. Okay, and this circle is a hole. He say what? Four and a half plus three and a quarter. Four is a hole. Three is a hole. So we can make four plus three equals seven as a whole number. What about half and a quarter? Yeah, this will be what? If I shade this part half. So, if I shade this part quarter. Half and a quarter will be three quarter. How can I get it? With this half. And this quarter. So, if. You divide this into two. Quarter plus quarter plus quarter. It will be three out of four or three quarter. This is mental. Adding mental. Four fraction. I have here half. Okay. Then in this, I have half and a quarter. Half and a quarter. If you shade half and a quarter, you get what? One, two, three. Because I make construction here. Construction mean I draw extra. To let clear for all of you. This is quarter. As we learned it in grade two and grade three. And this is quarter. Quarter plus quarter equal half. And this is another quarter. So how many shaded part? One, two. Three quarter plus quarter plus quarter quarter plus quarter. This is by mental plus quarter. Equal what? We have the same denominator four and four and four. Write one as a common. Then make adding between the numerator one plus one plus one equal three. Then four and a half. And three and a quarter, make adding between whole and whole, it will be seven. Then half and a quarter by colored, by using fraction shapes, we get three quarters. So it will be seven 
and three quarter. But by using mathematical, as we discussed before, I solve it for all of you. Four and three will be what? Will be seven. Then half and a quarter. How can I solve it? Look at the big denominator and ask myself, for you are multiple of two, you can divide it by two without remainder. Yes, I can. I am multiple of two. I am in table two. I can divide it by two without remainder. So I can take four as a comma. This will be seven open brackets between both of them multiply. Don't forget this. Okay. Take four as a common. To take four as a common, what are we doing now? Yeah. Two by two equal four. If I multiply two down, I multiply two up. So it will be two. And the same denominator for the second fraction. So I put plus the same numerator for the second fraction. Then what is the result? Seven and also three quarter. So I am clever. I do it mental by drawing shapes as we learn it in grade two and grade three. And I solve it as I learn it in what? Excellent. In uh, primary four. Then, here, two and five tenths. Two and 58 tenths. What I'm doing, I let both of them have the same, what? Have the same digit. So what I'm doing now, put zero at the right of this number, 50 and 58. From this it's chosen, which one between both of them? What is the number greater than two and fifty hundreds and less than two and fifty eight hundreds? Yes. Is it first one? Let it zero. Okay. And let it here zero. Let all number has two decimal number. Has two decimal number. Decimal digit. Two digit in decimal place value. So 80? No. 18? No. 57? Yes. This is greater than 50 and less than 5800. Number 5. The tenth digit in the number 81 and 4300. Which tenth digit? It's number 4. Every time I write the place value. Don't forget this. It's a tenth and three as first the term, any number dependent on place value. Here I have denominator and quotient or whole number. So make multiply between 7 and 7. So the chosen will be 49. 5 and 3 quarter. Minus 2 and 6. Okay. What will you do here? Never mind. There is three ways. First way, convert from mix it to improper. 5 by 4, 20, 20 plus 3, 23 over 4. 2 by 6, 12, 12 plus 1, equal 13 over 6. Then make, yeah, common. Denominator, get common denominator. It will be 24. This is first way. Second way, this three quarter, you can add three quarter plus another one quarter. Why? To get quarter 
four quarters. Four quarters will be one. What about this one? This one will be yeah added to what? Mm, added to yeah five or added to two. But this way we don't explain it. So maybe make mm, interrupt for you. So I remember you the way that we learned it. This is also mental, but I hope to solve by the way by using the method that we learned before. First, whole minus whole, five minus two equal three. Then I have three quarters minus six. Then let three as the same four by six equal twenty four then cross multiplication okay six by three eighteen i write eighteen first four by one four and between both of them minus so it will be three and uh, 18 minus 4 equal 14 divided 24. This is not simplest fraction. So what I'm doing, I write 3 and write the second here, write this fraction into simplest form. 14 can divide it by 2 and can divide it by 7. 24 can divide it by 2 only, but cannot divide it by 7. So, which number I'm using it here now? Divide it 2 up, divide it 2 down. So, it will be 3 and 7 over 12. I hope all of you understand well today all curriculum of March. Thank you for listening as engineer Nivin with my best wish wishes, with e-learning wishes. Good luck and goodbye.